guys, and I am honored to return to host the ESPYs for a second time. It's so nice to be at the Nokia, one of the few buildings in America that hasn't locked out athletes. <laughs> As a sports fan, it's amazing to stand up here and look out over this room full of professional athletes. Although I have to say, with this many athletes, I can't help but feel bad for the valet parking guy after the show. Yeah, it's the Black Escalade. <laughs> Welcome to all of you in the attendance, the millions watching at home in the U.S., and the millions more watching from inside Brian Wilson's beard. <laughs> Brian, that's a great outfit, but I have one question for you. What have you done with Batman? <laughs> you look like the villain from a luge movie. <laughs> but enough about Brian Wilson's outfit. Let's get back to Brian Wilson's beard. Some pitchers have goatees. Brian Wilson has an entire goat. <laughs> it looks like your beard is wearing a fake beard. <laughs> I was meaning to ask, did you ever get that fiddler off the roof? <laughs> but I'm sorry to tease you, Brian. It's obvious you hate attention. <laughs> For those of you who don't remember, last year's ESPYs was just days after LeBron James announced his decision to leave Cleveland for Miami in an ESPN special. Now, it would be easy for me to stand up here and make fun of LeBron and the Miami Heat. So here it goes. Seems like you guys are on the fence about the heat. <laughs> LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh refer to themselves as the Big Three in honor of how many quarters they play. <laughs> Congratulations to the Dallas Mavericks. Give it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Congratulations to the Dallas Mavericks for finally bringing an NBA championship to the city of Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland fans really took a lot of pre uh, pleasure in the Heat losing. Cleveland fans celebrating Miami losing is like a dude saying, hey, you know my ex-wife who left me? Well, she and her new boyfriend are having an argument. I'm back. <laughs> Congratulations to the Mavs, and congratulations to Mavs owner Mark Cuban. Yeah. I think we can all agree it's nice when good things happen to loud billionaires. <laughs> True story, due to the terms of the NBA lockout, Mark Cuban is here, but he can't talk to his players. The Mavericks are calling this arrangement better than a championship. A lot of Mavs are here tonight. Jason Kidd is here. Give it up for Jason Kidd. Jason Terry is here. We got Jason Terry as well. But my favorite Maverick is Brian Cardinal. Yeah, the custodian. I love Brian Cardinal because anytime he goes in the game, it just looks like a crazed fan ran on the floor. <laughs> I just keep waiting for security to taser him. <laughs> this show just started, and Brian Cardinal already has three fouls. <laughs> so give it up to Brian Cardinal, or he will destroy you. <laughs> but of course, the real star of the NBA Finals, Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah. And in honor of our first German Finals MVP, I would like to tell Jer uh, Dirk a joke in German. Heute Nacht ist es ein bisschen so wie im Sexspiel der NBA Andrunde. Die Hitze nicht angekommen. <laughs> That's as good as German jokes ever go. <laughs> you think that didn't work? That's like the best a German joke ever went. Blake Griffin is here tonight. Give it up for Blake. Blake won the slam dunk contest this year by jumping over a Kia and an example of the most exciting dunk over the least exciting car. 
Nothing says NBA action like an affordable family sedan. <laughs> there was more big, na uh, big basketball news this year. Shaquille O'Neal announced his retirement from basketball only three years after his feet retired. <laughs> it's just he's so big, it took three years for his feet to send the message to his brain. Shaq retired after he couldn't recover from a calf injury. Man, if only there were a magical rapping genie who could somehow grant him one more wish. <laughs> Yao Ming announced that he's retiring from basketball or that he's retiling his bathroom. It's really hard to say. <laughs> we can't know. We can only guess. How about a round of applause for Phil Jackson? <laughs> Phil Jackson retired from coaching after the Lakers were eliminated from the NBA playoffs, and now Phil will drift into obscurity as just another giant hippie scarecrow on a motorcycle who smells like weed. <laughs> and in other news, uh, other NBA news, Kim Kardashian is getting married to New Jersey net Chris Humphreys. Asked why she picked a New Jersey net, Kim said that she was tired of dating pro athletes. <laughs> you don't have to ooh, no nets are here. <laughs> we haven't had a net here for 15 years. <laughs> Jason Kidd was the last net here. <laughs> Tim Thomas, the goalie for the world champion Bruins, is here. The Boston Bruins won the Stanley Cup, and I think we can all agree it was great for the people of Boston to get another thing they can drink out of. <laughs> of course, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup was marred by the riot that followed. How about our Canadian neighbors up north? It's amazing what it takes to make white people riot. <laughs> Arabs riot over oppressive leadership, African Americans riot over police brutality, and white people are like, how is that icing? Burn it down! Of course, it was a Canadian riot, so it was very polite. It was a lot of, uh, excuse me, sir, if it's not too much trouble, I'm going to flip your car over and set it on fire, eh? <laughs> We're going to make sure you get a rental to get home, though. And hey, everybody, like, let's remember, cleanup starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. We're in an angry mob, you know? We're not animals, eh? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I should point out the proceeds from tonight's uh, show go to a very worthy charity, the Los Angeles Dodgers of America. Dodger outfielder Matt Kemp is here tonight. Yeah. Frank McCord told Matt Kemp, have fun tonight, and then added, if they have any ketchup packets, grab as many as you can. <laughs> because we have run out of ketchup. Dodger Stadium no longer has ketchup. The Dodgers are so broke when players steal bases, Frank McCord asks that they please return them. The Dodgers are so broke, their third base coach is just a mirror reflecting the image of their first base coach. <laughs> the Dodgers are so broke, three of their players tested positive for ramen noodles. <laughs> Speaking of testing positive, Barry Bonds this year was found guilty of obstruction of justice, and his head was found guilty of obstruction of doorways. Think about it, though. <laughs> but steroids abuse is just one of the latest examples of poor choices by members of the athletic community. The one I'm more concerned about is sexting. So I want to give some advice to the married male athletes that are sending out pictures of their genitals. Guys, don't send a picture of the part of your body your wife is most likely to recognize as being yours. Here's what you need to do. Take a picture of your business. Trade it with one of your teammates for a picture of his business. Now that's the picture you send out to ladies. Then, if you get caught, you can tell your wife, look, it's not mine. And if she says, oh yeah, that's not yours, that's Kevin's, you know she's having an affair. <laughs> Let's hear it for the US women's soccer team. Yeah. Yeah.
They're not here tonight because they're in Germany preparing to play in the World Cup Finals on Sunday. Yeah. Um, in other soccer news, David Beckham's wife, Victoria Beckham, had a baby girl earlier this week. Eight pounds, nine ounces. No word yet on what the baby weighed. Find someone who liked it. The Yukon Huskies won the NCAA title with a 53-41 victory over Butler. Let's give it up for Yukon. But it wasn't all good news in college basketball. BYU forward Brandon Davis was kicked off the basketball team after he admitted to violating the school's honor code by having premarital sex with his girlfriend. Luckily, his girlfriend goes to Arizona State, so she actually got course credit. It's been reported that the NFL lockout may be ending next week. And I think we can all agree that's great news. Yeah. Ray Lewis warned that if there is no season, the crime rate would go up, though he didn't say specifically what he had in mind. <laughs> it would be an incredible shame to lose the NFL football season after the amazing year we just had. Michael Vick returned to a starting, row and had a, uh, starting role and had a truly Amazing season for the Philadelphia Eagles. In fact, he even received several MVP votes, mostly from cats. <laughs> Clay Matthews laughing on the inside. <laughs> but the biggest story in football was the Green Bay Packers beating the Steelers 31-25 in the Super Bowl. The Green Bay Packers became the first team since 1962 to go an entire season without trailing more than seven points, proving once and for all that not every statistic is interesting. <laughs> and finally, give it up for Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, who won the Super Bowl and finally got out of the shadow of Brett Favre, which we learned, thanks to cell phone technology, is not as big a shadow as we originally thought. <laughs> To present our first award of the evening, please welcome from Entourage, Emmanuel Shriki and tonight's ESPY winner for Best Driver, Jimmy Johnson.